Welcome to AI Audit. Here we query six different AIs, Gemini, Claude, Meta, ChatGPT, Gab AI, and Grok, to see if there are any biases or inadequacies or anything we should be concerned about. And at the end, we crown one winner. I think we should really well get on with it, don't you? On to question number five. So the question I have here, starting with Gemini, is... Detail a singular notable example of a destructive belief system. Answers no longer than three paragraphs. What's Gemini going to say? Gemini says one notable example of a destructive belief system is the concept of racial superiority. This belief, which has been used to justify discrimination, oppression and violence throughout history, posits that one race is inherently superior to others based on arbitrary factors such as skin colour. Well, I think there's a misconception there. I don't think these um, racial supremacists think it's their skin that makes them superior. I think they think it's other factors that are adjacent to their skin colour that makes them superior. Not that I am uh, in any way going to tiptoe into those waters. The belief in racial superiority has led to countless atrocities, including slavery, genocide and segregation. It has also had a profound negative impact on individuals and societies, fostering division, hatred and inequality. While the belief in racial superiority is wildly discredited by scientists, historians and social scientists, it continues to persist in some communities and individuals. The destructive nature of this belief system is evident in its ability to perpetuate harmful stereotypes, limit opportunities and fuel conflict. It is essential to challenge and dismantle such beliefs in order to create a more just and equitable society. Okay, you kind of listed towards the wokeism there, but that was generally a good answer. And I like the fact that you didn't specifically obsess about white supremacy, even though that is a very popular, very popular evil to kind of point at at the moment in the media. It's getting pretty, I'm getting pretty tired of hearing it. And I think a lot of people are now because there are a lot of different racial groups who have superiority biases, not just people who are light skinned Western Caucasians. Western European Caucasians. Anyway, Claude is still the crown. So far, Gemini is doing okay. One particular example of a destructive belief system is the ideology of racial supremacy, particularly as manifested in Nazi Germany during the 1930s and 1940s. The Nazi regime, led by Adolf Hitler, promoted the idea of Aryan racial superiority and the inferiority of other races, especially Jews, Roma people and Slavs. This belief system led to the systematic persecution, dehumanization, and ultimately the genocide of millions of people in what became known as the Holocaust. The Nazi ideology combined pseudo-scientific racial theories, extreme nationalism, and anti-Semitism to justify its actions. Was anti-Semitism a cornerstone of the Nazi ideology, or was that just a component of it? Because you say they were inimical to Roma and Slavs as well. And I know I hear they were not very kind to people who were disabled or other groups. I'm not sure. It propagated the belief that the Aryan race was destined to rule over others and that the perceived racial purity of Germany was under threat from inferior races. This worldview was used to rationalize expansionist policies, forced sterilizations, mass deportations, and eventually the industrial-scale murder of millions in concentration camps. The consequences of this belief system were catastrophic, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 6 million Jews and millions of others deemed undesirable by the Nazi regime. The Holocaust stands as one of the darkest chapters in human history, demonstrating the horrific potential of extremist ideologies when they gain political power. The legacy of Nazi racial supremacy continues to serve as a stark warning about the dangers of hate-based ideologies and the importance of combating racism and discrimination in all forms. Good answer. Liked it. Well done. So far you're winning. Because, Gemini, Claude was a bit more specific about an actual notable example. Actually, Gemini didn't really give me a notable example. You gave me a general uh, cloud of beliefs. Because this saying um, racial supremacy itself is just a classification of an idea and not a specific one. Anyway, let's move on to meta. A noticeable example of a destructive belief system is Aryan supremacy, a racist ideology that posits white people, particularly those of Germanic and Nordic descent, are superior to other races. 
This belief system was central to Nazi Germany's ideology that led to the systematic persecution and genocide of six million Jews, millions of Romani people, homosexuals, disabled individuals, and others deemed undesirable during the Holocaust. Aryan supremacy is rooted in pseudo-scientific theories of racial hierarchy and eugenics, which have been thoroughly discredited. However, its destructive impact persists, inspiring contemporary white supremacist groups and fueling hate crimes and terrorism worldwide. But where's the terrorism? I don't know, maybe there are. That's another question to ask. Examples of white supremacy terrorism. Give examples there, because I'm not aware of them, but I'm sure they must be out there. I'm not sure if they're in a great number. It's all about perspective, though. In contrast to what? because there were a heck ton of terrorist acts committed by ISIS and people allied to that. Way more than I'm aware of were perpetrated by people who were pushing Aryan supremacy. So I'm just curious. The devastating consequences of Aryan supremacy serve as a stark reminder of the dangers of belief systems that promote hatred, intolerance and dehumanization. It highlights the importance of promoting inclusive, Evidence-based ideologies that value diversity, equity, and human rights. Right, yes. And also, having a bias for one racial group within a population is, in my opinion, a weakness. Because, particularly in the modern age when we're dealing with man-made pathogens, having a genetically diverse population is definitely a strength, particularly if we are united, if we are socially harmonious. So anyone trying to promote racial supremacy or racial divisions, apartheid, is actually promoting the weakening of a social population, in my opinion. But, you know, do what you want. It's not up to me to uh, say so. It's just an observation that genetically diverse populations are going to be overall healthier than more homogenous ones. ChatGPT says, A singular and notable example of a destructive belief system is the ideology of Nazi Germany under Adolf Hitler, especially the belief an Aryan racial supremacy and anti-Semitism. This belief system was rooted in the idea that the Aryan race, particularly those of Germanic descent, were superior to all other races and that Jews, along with other minority groups, were inferior and dangerous. These beliefs fueled extreme nationalism, xenophobia and a ruthless pursuit of ethnic purity. This ideology led to the Holocaust, one of the most horrific genocides in history, where six million Jews, along with millions of others, including Romani people, disabled individuals, political prisoners and other deemed undesirable, were systematically murdered. The Nazi belief in racial superiority justified widespread atrocities, including war, genocide and the oppression of entire populations, leaving deep scars on global history and society. The destructive impact on this belief system extended beyond the immediate loss of life, contributing to widespread trauma, the displacement of millions and long-lasting effects on survivors and their descendants. It also served as a stark reminder of how dangerous and catastrophic extremist belief systems can become when they are institutionalized and acted upon on the state level, altering the course of history and reshaping the moral landscape of the modern world. Okay. Are we all going to go with Nazi Germany? So racial supremacy, Nazi Germany. Okay. What else have we got? There must be other stuff out there. Destructive belief systems. Gap. Back on Nazism. Okay. One notable example of a destructive belief system is Nazism, the far-right authoritarian ultra-nationalist ideology that originated in Germany during the early 20th century. Wasn't Nazism born from the National Socialist Party? Wasn't that a socialist movement? At its core, Nazism was based on the belief in the superiority of the Aryan race, which it claimed was threatened by the presence of other ethnic and minority groups, particularly Jews, whom it deemed to be subhuman and responsible for Germany's woes following World War I. Nazism promoted a totalitarian state led by a strong charismatic leader, the Fuhrer Principle, and advocated for the use of violence and force to achieve its goals. This included the persecution and eventual genocide of Jews, Romani people, disabled individuals and other groups deemed undesirable by the regime. The Holocaust, the systematic murder of approximately 6 million Jews, remains one of the most infamous examples of the destructive consequences of Nazism. The belief system also promoted aggressive expansionism and militarism, leading to the outbreak of World War II and the deaths of millions of people across Europe. The destructive nature of Nazism 
is evident in its impact on Germany and the world, which still feels the effects of the war and the Holocaust to this day. The ideology's fervent belief in the superiority of one group over others and the use of violence to achieve its goals makes it a prime example of a destructive belief system. Right. So far, I suppose, meta, because meta always does a good job with formatting and you're all falling on the uh, Nazi Germany side. And obviously, it's a very uh, destructive belief system. I was expecting a little bit more variety in the answers here, but here we go, another one. This time from Grok. A notable example of a destructive belief system can be observed in the context of extreme nationalism, particularly when it morphs into forms like ethnic or racial supremacy. This belief system posits that one's nation or ethnic group is inherently superior to others, often leading to policies and actions aimed at dominance or exclusion. Historical instances such as the Nazi ideology in Germany during the 1930s and 40s exemplify this where the belief in Aryan supremacy led to the Holocaust, one of the most horrific genocides in human history. This ideology not only justified the extermination of millions, but also fueled aggressive, aggressive expansionism, leading to World War II, showcasing how a belief system can have global destructive consequences. In contemporary times, similar threads of destructive nationalism can be seen in various forms around the world, when national or ethnic identity is weaponized against minorities or neighboring countries. For instance, policies or movements that advocate for ethnic purity or the forceful assimilation of minority groups under the guise of national unity can lead to systematic discrimination, violence and, in extreme cases, genocide. The forceful assimilation of minority groups. What do you mean by that? Like the, um, the Uyghurs in China, maybe? Is that what you're saying? These beliefs often ignore the multicultural fabric of societies leading to social fragmentation, conflict and the erosion of human rights. The destructive nature of such belief systems lies not just in their immediate actions but in their long-term effects on societal cohesion, international relations and the psychological well-being of both the oppressors and the oppressed. They perpetuate cycles of violence, mistrust and inequality often under the banner of patriotism or cultural preservation demonstrating how deeply ingrained beliefs can lead to widespread human suffering and social breakdown. Uh, yes, well, I think we're going to go with Grok there because everyone was mentioning, well, almost everyone with Gemini was mentioning Nazism, but Grok also had a good stab at pointing out the flavour of other instances. He didn't actually mention any, to be sure, but forceful assimilation of minority groups. I'm assuming you're talking about the Uyghurs in China. So yes, well done, Grok. Grok win. Well done, XAI. Grog win. Didn't give us much choice there. We had uh, Nazism. I think there are other destructive belief systems out there that could have been mentioned. I think nihilism is a good example I would have put in there. Getting people to preoccupy themselves with self-gratification and have zero inclination towards the upkeep of their environment. The amount of times that I'll see piles of McDonald's trash just left by areas where cars have been parked. It's amazing how some people just don't care. They'll just throw trash out of their car and they'll move on with their life. Like it doesn't even matter. Well, they could have kept it in their car and actually deposited it in a trash can somewhere. It doesn't really take much. And you know you've made the world just a little tiny bit better, which is very strange. So yeah, self-worship and nihilism would be, uh, be one that I would have mentioned there. But that's just my bias. But that for now is that. Remember, if you do wish, you can hit the like button. You can share the show. You can tell people about me. It doesn't have to be nice. And big wig out. <laughs>